woke up today in this just ridiculously gorgeous place um, where some of my best, best, best childhood memories happened. I'm in a little town called Launching Place, a little country town um, in the Yarra Ranges. And it's just stunning, as you can see. Like, it's just ridiculous. It's one of the most beautiful places on the planet. And it's just the perfect place to tell you about what I'm now doing with my life. And being here makes me really reflect on a time when I was little. I was probably about nine years old. And we came here. This is the house of my cousins. Came here. And my sister and I, it was autumn just a bit before this time now, all the leaves had fallen on the ground and we created this city with the beautiful red and white toadstools that look like they're from a storybook and raked the leaves into a town and had a moat and created a welcome home in leaves for everyone who'd been out shopping that day. And it's the clearest, most beautiful memory that I have from my whole life. And everybody who was there on that day feels the same about it. It's just really clear. So having that feeling reminds me that I've got more to do on this planet. I've got more memories to create and I want as many memories as possible to be exactly like that one. So I've been kind of working with my bucket list for quite a while, for the last three years since leaving the corporate world and now I'm stepping it up. So I've I've travelled to heaps of countries, I've uh, been on the set of one of my favourite TV shows of all time, I've gone wild swimming with sharks in the North Atlantic to try and get over my shark fear, I've done a whole bunch of really cool stuff, um, I've published a book and publishing the book changed my life. So now I am launching something called Project Curious, honouring my curious spirit, which is what I want to do for the rest of my life. So I'm going to be doing 365 new things in 365 places on the planet, all using words as currency. So that's really inspired by my romantic kind of connection to the troubadours of the past who used to sing for their supper and trade poems and storytelling around the fire for for a bed for the night and I just love the simplicity of that. So that's what I will be doing. It's starting with a massive challenge. I'm going to be riding a rickshaw further than anybody ever has on really lazy office worker legs um, in the sunshine. So it's all happening. So enjoy and I hope you can join me on the journey. It's just you know, I've got the tingles just thinking about this new life direction and I cannot wait to keep going with it. So watch out for my next video, which will be all about taking my beautiful 100-year-old typewriter along with me to help me have some kind of way to, to storytell along the way. And also, she's just really cool. I'll make a video about her. You'll love her. Her name's Astoria. So, yeah, enjoy. Enjoy. Bye.